to my gang what is up to my squad welcome back to kiki cook guys today we're gonna be making fresh pasta from scratch and yeah so we're back with another video <laughs> back with another banger another banger <laughs> yeah. this is what it looks like so far we just started this is the beginning process so we have some water on the side and that's if our pasta dough gets a little dry we may need to add a little bit more we have some more flour off to the side as well if our dough gets a little bit too wet we have our fork as a utensil and these are our flour wells with our egg in it all right guys so right now i'm just beating the eggs in the well and that's how you start off you start off just beating it with the fork make sure you keep that in there Eventually what's going to happen is it's going to turn into a big blob of mess, basically. Just a mess. Slide. <laughs> so, I'm literally just slowly adding flour to my egg mixture from the sides. Once I feel like it's incorporated, add some more. I'm going to try my, try my best to keep the well together. But it's going to eventually break. That is fine. Right, so at this point guys it's really turned into a dough still very loose we have all this flour to incorporate though right um this is when you're going to start using your hand and the fork because at this point it's too sturdy for you to keep using your fork by itself as you're making a pasta right you don't use all the flour um and that's what it's looking like right here so i my, like I said, my family likes to eat a lot, so I'll probably use that for some more pasta later. Um, but yeah, this is what it's going to start looking like. It's not going to stay white, white forever, as you can see. It's coming back to its yellow color a little bit of a dough. It's feeling more like a dough mixture. And basically, you want to knead it until when you press it, it's like springing back at you. So it's not completely there. See what I'm saying? So, keep needing that. All right, guys. So it's about done. When I touch it, it springs back, and so that's how I know it's done. So I was taught to make a little ball with it. And the way I did that was going back like this until it formed the ball. See how it's bouncing back, springing back? It's done. It's beautiful. Put it in the bowl so to pour like a cap full of oil but you don't really have to use all of it because you don't want it to be too greasy plus i'm gonna put some plastic wrap over top of it and i'm gonna let it sit for like an hour and i'll do that with the rest of all my batches for my family and I'll get back to y'all when it's time to start forming the pasta. All right, guys, we're back. The dough has rested for an hour. And now I'm just going to, I didn't even turn it on. Way out my dough. We have a whole bunch that we got to go through. As y'all can see, it's still resting. So well, weigh it. All right, so I keep flour down whenever I'm dealing with the dough. 
and now I'm gonna flatten it out. Flatten it out. This is half of one. Put it on my flower on my rolling pin. I'm making a small little ravioli, y'all. Homemade because I don't got no machine or no templates for raviolis. So I'm literally making cutting out squares. And this just came to her like random. Literally, y'all missed me have a whole like freak out. Like I just it was started good. grabbing seasonings to make a filling. Brandy fresh herbs. Filling. What was in the fill? What's in the filling? Um, parsley, garlic, salt, pepper, cream cheese, and a mixture of shredded cheeses like uh, cheddar, parmesan, mozzarella, and it tastes so good. Oh my gosh.